This is a new battery powered camera from iGeeks. This is the ZS-GX3S model. This has a built in battery allowing this to be completely wire free. Here you have your warranty card. Here's a note inside the box on charging. Now we're going to have a look at the manual. Here's the information provided. Pause and read any sections if you need to. Now we're going to take a look at the bracket that the camera will mount to, which can be tilted up and down left or right. And on the back you have three holes to mount to a surface. You twist the middle section of the bracket to tighten, which will lock the camera in position, with a quarter inch thread to mount to the camera. Also comes with three plugs and screws, and here you have the USB to micro USB charging cable. Now let's take a look at the camera. At the top of the camera you've got the lens, the white section in the middle you have the spotlight, you have a working indicator light to the left of that, and a charging indicator to the right. The sticking out dome section is the PIR, and below that you have the microphone. The body of the camera and the front of the camera is made of a hard plastic. On the side you'll see the logo, and rotating to the back you'll see your camera information and your speaker. That will allow you to speak out of the camera from the app, or play the sound of the siren if you choose to. Looking at the bottom of the camera, when you remove the rubber cover, you have a power button, a reset button, a micro SD card slot, and a micro USB slot for charging the camera or to add an IE Geek solar panel, which you can remove this section to protect from the weather. You can insert up to a 128GB microSD card, and the quarter inch thread on the bracket is going to screw into the hole on the bottom of the camera. You can rotate this section to secure into position, and twist the middle of the bracket to loosen, then twist back to tighten. You can even mount this camera upside down and flip the image on the app. First you're going to install the IE Geek Cam app, and follow through these steps. Swipe through these pages, press start. Then you're going to click on setup and add your email address. Then go to your email and confirm Then come back and add device on the app. Then click on battery camera and hold down the power button for four to five seconds. Hold down the reset button if you don't see a flashing red light. Select the Wi-Fi network you want to sync with. Choose your Wi-Fi router and enter in your password. Then press next. Then press next again. Then hold the QR code five to eight inches away from the camera. Once you hear that sound, the camera's seen the QR code. Then you can press next and wait for it to connect. I've sped that section up, then you'll get to this section and you can press next again. Put camera and phone at the place of camera. Press next again and now you can see what your camera can see. Here's some install tips for when mounting your camera. Here you can choose your family name and select which room you got this camera in. This is useful if you have many cameras on the same app. Here I'm just going to tap through these sections. I'm going to press on this image and it's going to show me what the camera can see. You can see the camera battery life, the Wi-Fi signal, the bit rate. If you press screenshot it will take a picture of what's on the screen. Or tap recording and it's going to do a small recording of what the camera can see. And it's going to save that in the album section. Press the intercom to speak. Hello can you hear me? That will play your voice out of the speaker on the back of the camera. Here you can change between full HD and SD resolution when viewing the camera. The full HD is the best quality, but if the image is buffering, I find that SD allows the image to play back smoother. Here you can see a button for the light, which you can press again to turn it off. A button here for the siren. If you press motion detection, you can turn the motion detection on or off. This will send you notifications through the app, and here you can also adjust the detection sensitivity. The higher the number, the easier it is to set off the motion detection. Here you can set up an alert plan if it suits you. Alarm area. Here you can select areas around the image where you don't want the motion detection to be alerted. For example, if you have leaves moving in the image, you keep setting the motion detection off, you can remove that. Here you can choose to have the light to go off and the siren to go off. The motion is detected. And here's your full colour mode at night. The night vision will be in black and white, and when the light comes on, you'll see in colour. In album will be where you pressed screenshot or record. Here you can save these to your phone. If you press the settings cog in the top right corner, you'll see a bigger list of settings that you can change. Here you can check the battery management. Now I'm using a micro SD card, but you can sign up to save your footage to the cloud. They have different paying plans. Now if your camera was taken, you'd still have that footage saved to the cloud for you to look at. But if the camera was taken with my micro SD card in it, then I wouldn't be able to view the footage that's on the card. So that's something worth bearing in mind even though I tend to use the SD card. Now here you can adjust the sound settings. In the image settings, you can flip the screen upside down, 
for people who want to mount this camera upside down. If you go to the Messages tab, click on Motion Detection, here you'll see all the short clips and time when the motion detection was set off. If you go down to the Me tab, you can share this camera with another user. If you click on History, you'll see these blue lines of short recorded clips that's on a timeline throughout the day, which you can pinch to zoom in and out. Then place the red needle onto the blue section and it will play that clip. I tend to look at the images in the Messages tab that we looked at earlier. Press the Network Indicator if you want this camera to appear off without showing the blue light. Or press it to turn it on. Here you can see the picture quality. It has the date and time in the top left corner. It has a nice wide angle view. And which is something that I think all cameras should have for indoor and outdoor use. And you can also add an IE Geek solar panel to this camera if you choose to. That will just increase the battery life of the camera. I'm going to leave all specs and information in the description of this video. Now let's take a look at some of the clips the motion detection has captured. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, test it out for us. <laughs> Here you can see the difference in quality viewed from my phone. If a road or path keeps setting the motion detection off that you don't need, you can mark the section so the motion detection doesn't go off. Hello? Hello? Can you? Testing, testing. Testing, testing. I've got a small job away from JSP equipment going on. Hello? Can you hear me? Now I've set the light to come on when motion is detected. This will then make the infrared in black and white to change the colour as it brightens up the area. And here you'll see the sound recorded on the camera. I notice there's about a second or two from when the camera sees me to when the light comes on. And this was filmed on a cloudy evening going into the night time and then finished off with rain. I received notifications on my Apple Watch and on my mobile phone. Here's what it looks like with the light and the siren together. Now check in my messages at the end of the day. Click on motion detection. Here you can go back through the days and times. And then you can click on that image to show you a short clip. Which you can go from one clip to the next. And if you turn your phone sideways, you'll be able to see the video clip in a full screen. Or you can go to the history section and scroll through the different clips this way. Thanks for watching, I'll leave links and information in the description below. Subscribe and like, welcome to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.